Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Bad Thought Studios. Today, we're doing a trailer reaction to the new Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, comes out July 26th. We did see a little bit of the Super Bowl uh, trailer, but we yet didn't we didn't see the full thing. So this is gonna be our full reactions. But I got Candid with me. What's going on, bro? How's everything? Hey, how are you? Doing well, man. Um, sorry about the the Super Bowl. The the ending of it kind of sucked, but um, yeah. hey, they had a good season, bro. The, yep there's always next year yeah the, i i was impressed of how they handled the best team in the league or the the two best teams in the league played so and it went literally down to the last seconds so we couldn't have asked for a better super bowl yeah i agree i just uh think moody shouldn't be here next year but that's just my opinion <laughs> I, I you know I, I only thought that the whole year but it's cool he was a rookie too you know that yeah and he had a whole bunch of crazy stats that doesn't make it cool yeah, I mean, he 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 missed one uh, extra point. Other than that, he was pretty good. But yeah, yeah uh, I, one extra point yeah. that would have won us the game. Yeah, sorry. exactly. <laughs> but he'll make the longest field goal in NFL history. But that's cool, man. Second second longest now. Oh yeah, and I'm glad that he got it beat. Now he doesn't get des- he doesn't deserve <laughs> to fucking have that record. Get out of here. Uh, but there was a lot of trailers that played during the Super Bowl. Um, Planet of the Apes. There was um. A uh, Deadpool. There was an, the whole bunch, but um, of course, we, you know, we like the MCU. We like Marvel. De- uh, Deadpool is one of our, like, one of the best characters that is standing still because of how in shambles Marvel is right now. Um, but I'm excited to see it. What have you seen previous Deadpool's? Yeah, yeah, I've seen one and two, and they're like you said, they're he's the only one standing. At yeah. the end of the day, you can bring Deadpool in, and I don't think that character is going to die. Even if they've really tried to mess it up, it's not it's not going to happen. Yeah, and especially you got Wolverine coming in now, which oh, easy, easy. Yeah, it, it's going to be this. There's unless they completely fuck this up, which we're anticipating them not to do. Um, that you can't like these two characters are probably going to be like the staple of Marvel they as of right now. You know, what I'm saying? Disney Disney needs this win. Mm-hmm. They need for to sure. this is this is the mark of a new chapter for them this is that this is that moving forward just like how they had the avengers how they had those that whole series this is their new avengers um going forward but they need to do it right and they need to introduce everybody the proper way for sure i i 100 agree with you um real quick before we start uh we did do a trailer on the madam web um on the madam web movie coming out um if i'm not mistaken yesterday they had a um red carpet premiere a lot of big names as far as like um um people who review movies people who you know deep dive into movies especially marvel um um social media people uh content creators they went to this uh showing and they got a pretty bad review bro a lot of them were saying that it was uh, to your credit the reason why i bring it up to your credit like you had stated that <clears throat> for the trailer, but man, they, they said they were very disappointed. They said the worst part about it was the editing. Like they, they had editing um, parts in the, in the movie where it was like, it was just weird. Apparently <clears throat> I'm going to go see it just cause I, I like to be my own critic, but at the same time, man, it, it's not a good look for Madam Webb. No. And I, like I said, I told you that from the beginning, I'm not going to go see it, even though I told y'all I'll probably watch it. Nah, if they're if um, I don't trust everybody with their reviews, I don't trust myself with my reviews. <laughs> but when two people come out and say this is like the worst shit ever and it's not even out yet, I'm good. Yeah, it, I'm it's good. it's good. There's not a lot of stacking behind it, anyways. That's the other side of it. Like you're you're having a bad track record in general, and someone comes out and says it's not good. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be good. And and I don't know if this is considered like Disney because Sony's the one that made it. So I don't know if that is a huge reason why it flopped or <clears throat> or because of the the way like apparently the storyline, the the writing in it wasn't the best. I personally don't know. Like I said, I haven't watched it, but that's what I'm hearing from a lot of these content creators when it comes to it. So I I'm really I really want to see how much of a difference like sony from disney you know what i'm saying because you can see it within the film do we have a problem with hierarchy or someone the all ruling thumb where you bring this 
piece of paper in and here's your script and that person says yeah either yeah i like it or i don't like it what happened to that old school where there's a room full of people and you read it out loud and people give you thumbs up and thumbs down they don't have to worry about the fucking big boss that's you know giving all the money to it yeah. and that's what's shitty because there's people out there that just want to see something made or they just want to try to make a quick profit and you make shit unfortunately that's what it looks like this is but like i said we, we i'm gonna go see it i'll try maybe do a um a review on it a little later once i see it but you just facetime just, me i know right <laughs> i haven't heard i haven't heard good reviews but we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, let us know in the comments if you guys want us to do a review on the movie because we'd be happy to but um yeah but yeah i'm excited for deadpool um of course we love wolverine like i said so let's get into it and see how it goes you ready yep let's do it All right, let's get it It's been a challenging few years, for sure, but I'm happy. <clears throat> that is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. Oh, damn. Wait, Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. TVA, baby. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. <laughs> your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Uh oh. I'm the Messiah. I am. Uh, is she flax in the background? What was that? Yeah, please. There's oh my fox in the background. God, I love this part. Wait! Yeah, Century Fox. Or Century. Yeah, Gilder. yeah. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Uh, no, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Hmm. Bro, that looks so, so good. it's not technically Deadpool 3? It, not. It, it's Deadpool and um, and Wolverine. So, so good. Go ahead. I was gonna say, so what, is there going to be a Wolverine version of this trailer? You think at some point? Maybe you never know. You never you get what know. I'm saying. Like uh, his yeah. version of of it. Yeah, it. it I, I'm not too sure how the you know the lore of it all goes because I'm sure there's some kind of comic or whatever um, that is a source material to this. I could be wrong. I'm just guessing, but um, it could be just him joining. You know, the whole team because TVA was in uh, Loki. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you watched Loki or not, but, but um, I, that was during that whole time of way too much shit out. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, Loki was uh, in the TVA doing a whole bunch of stuff, and where he was at in the in the trailer, he was at the TVA, and they they wanted him to. I'm assuming save some timelines or alter some timelines or whatever the case may be. But um, I'm it might be him, and then Wolverine joins him. So I'm not sure if they'll go route of just a trailer for wolverine but if you notice at the end it says deadpool and wolverine did you notice yeah. that yeah um they put up pictures that said deadpool and asshole <laughs> or no no i'm sorry asshole but what did it say oh wolverine and asshole there you go it said wolverine <laughs> and asshole so um, but yeah funny. i do you think this was made so some of it seemed like it was made just for a trailer I, I mean, do you really think he's going to 
cut those Disney promos or that Century Fox promo in in the movie. Ah, it is kind of a ball. They are kind of ballsy, dude. They they do that shit. Oh yeah, that's a great like, especially with Deadpool. They they no no um they don't hold back when it comes to Deadpool. They'll yeah. throw any kind of caveat inside of a trailer, inside of the movie because of who he is and like his character. It, it meshes well too. So yeah. there was a whole bunch of Easter eggs that that people um that people missed, and I did see a little bit. Like I said, I only watched the thing that was in the Super Bowl, but for this trailer like the century fox that was in the background um you've seen the secret wars at the very end there was a um, comic at the very end when he was laying down and then wolverine stood over him there was yeah. a secret wars uh comic book next to him which which apparently is a um which apparently is a secret wars where they have all the marvel characters together like every single Marvel character and all the and all the timelines together, this is what I this is what I saw on TikTok. But um, that I think that might be leading to something else as far as like the Secret Wars. Yeah, movie that's that's when I started bringing like X Men, like mm -hmm. X Men into into the like with Captain America and everything like that. Yeah, exactly. So I I, I loved this trailer, and there's another. Um, I'm not sure the name, um, what her name is, but there's a it's a female Deadpool um it, it's another character inside marvel she was also in this trailer if you notice the the uzis that were being shot in the trailer it's that just, was her it's lady, that was, lady De is that her name yeah yeah it's like lady oh De okay yeah yeah I, I i never heard of her but um, i heard it's gonna be taylor swift no <laughs> no i think i think it might be uh uh his wife blake Li lively um What's his name? Um, what's the D Deadpool's name? His real name? Wade. Oh, um, and, and his actor or the actor? I don't remember his name. Oh my god! Why am I blanking? He's the mint. Name? He's the mint mobile guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Wilson. There you go. Fuck. Ryan Wilson's wife um, is supposedly playing Lady uh, Deadpool. His real and, wife. Yeah, his real wife. Oh, that's cool. Suppo supposedly, well, I'm not I'm 100 percent sure, but that's what's being said. But um, there was a little uh, the Uzis that were being shot because uh, in the in the trailer you see him do the you know the, he has guns, he has pistols, but she uses the Uzis inside the comic book. So there's a lot of Easter eggs in this in this that people deciphered that was pretty dope. It's Ryan um, Reynolds, by the way. Who'd you say? <laughs> Ryan Wilson. Ryan, Ryan Wilson. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Wilson's like a soccer player. Or yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck it. Ryan Reynolds. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, what would you think of the trailer, bro? I thought it was cool. Um, I thought the comedy was is exactly how it should be. It's not fucking Thor, where it's not funny. <laughs> exactly. Um, like that was actually funny. I like that they showed blood. That's promising, especially because now it's you know under the Disney banner. Uh, I'm excited to see Wolverine. I wonder how aged he looks. That's going to be the other <laughs> side of it. Are they going to be able to knock this out? So that's the thing. You have to knock as many as you out as you got to knock as many as you can out before he gets too old. But at the same time, you need to keep the quality. So yeah. there's that there's that balance that they're going to have to have to figure out. Um, but going back to the actual trailer itself, it didn't tell us anything. They mm. fought in the same place in the snow the whole time, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, this is one of those trailers where I don't give a fuck what's going on because we have Deadpool and we have Wolverine. Yep. I'm okay with that. Um, the action looked good. The CGI stuff, whatever it was, CGI looked great. Uh, everything looked good. The moves, his costume, it looked perfect. It looked high budget. So I'm, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. Um, my, like I, I loved it. Yeah. You know, like you, you, you said pretty much like, having Wolverine and Deadpool together is going to be just f fantastic. You know, it's something, it's going to be a relieving um, movie to watch as Marvel fans because of mm -hmm. what we've gotten. Um, also the, a lot of Easter eggs is, is something that is also relieving because we never decipher these trailers anymore. Yeah, real, real quick. Speaking of Easter eggs and all that, um, supposedly Loki is in this. Oh, he is. Yeah, Loki and Mobius. So Morbius. Okay. 
Nice. Yeah. I, I I figured the the reason why you know the whole um, TVA thing, Loki was you know he was with uh, in the TVA trying to help the TVA out. Um, also, where he was fighting, where it said the Sentry Fox in the background, that looked like a uh, where Loki was at in one of the shows. So a lot of it looks similar from the Loki show. I'm assuming you'll get a lot of um, if you watch the show. Yeah, if you watch this, not maybe not crossover, but um, per se. But you'll you'll see a lot of similar things that were in Loki in Deadpool, in my opinion. Because who else is um, uh, who was in the last one? Cable, right? Mm -hmm. That the second one had Cable in it. Who was the other um, villain in the second one? Um, so I forgot. What's his What's his name? The um, he had the big ass Juggernaut. Yeah, there you go. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, Juggernaut. So I don't know. I'm I'm excited for it, man. I think I think it's gonna be great. I just hope that this opens the door to more X Men. I love X Men. Um, I I think this is gonna be awesome. I want to see some yeah. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I just want to see that wheelchair, man. I, I just want to see Marvel get back to its glory, dude. Yeah, that's all I want to see, man. You know, we've stated in plenty of episodes how much fun we, or at least I stated how much fun I just had calling you, calling your brother, like, "Hey, this is what I think is happening next." Like that was the fun part in this. The whole Marvel, like, it was just fun to anticipate what we thought was coming next now it's like what the fuck no one know like you can't decipher what's coming next but the, hopefully they can go this route where you know ryan reynolds has played deadpool for what nine years like since the first movie mm -hmm. so he, i mean i don't i'm not sure if you know he has some kind of contract for more movies but like if we stick with him and then x-men like okay real quick uh miss or the marvels the movie at the end um you know the you know the 30 second little caveat they have at the end yeah, yeah. Uh, after the after the credits uh they showed uh one of the girls at the x-men facility who's the blue guy for x-men the doctor he's blue the beast is that his the name that, beast? yeah the guy that turns into yeah <laughs> yeah um she um she was found at the x-men facility and he was like he helped her because something I, I don't want to spoil it but something happened where um she was stuck on the another timeline or another uh yeah another timeline and that was the x-men timeline that's where she was she got she was saved by him and they were they were um like I said, I don't want to give spoilers because it, it for people who haven't watched it, it's, it's now streaming on Disney Plus. So if you want to go check it out, it wasn't terrible. I, I admit it was not terrible. It wasn't the best. It, it was right where I thought it was going to be for Miss Marvel or they, the Marvels. I, I don't even know which one that is. And you did it just now because there's Marvels, Miss Marvels, the Marvel, Captain Marvel. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be watching. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see Wakanda forever because I, don't, I feel like I missed something in between that. I I, is, I mean I don't want to get into more movies, but I I enjoyed Black Panther. People thought it was bad because of, but it's like Chadwick Boseman he passed away, you know, R.I.P. Like you had to find some kind of way of transitioning into a new Black Panther, and I thought they fucking nailed it, dude. I thought they nailed it, and that that was probably the last good Marvel movie I've seen. And but see, anyway, I thought the first one was overrated. It was overrated. The first one was there was just so much hype around it that when I went to go watch, I was like, "It's good. It's not." It's I, not I, good. I feel like it was just under budget. I don't think it was supposed to be. It felt like it was a B tier, like a B portion Agreed. of the big, you know, big Marvel movies because it wasn't yes. technically like the Avenger. Yeah. Um, and that's where I kind of saw it, and I think everyone just made it explode for what it was bigger for what it was. But no doubt, it was a good movie. Just yeah, not yeah. not an A tier movie for me. Exactly, I'm I 100% agree with you. I 100% agree with that. Um, Is it better yeah. than Thor two and three? Yes. Well, love it. He, love and Thunder was definitely. Uh, anyway, uh, no, no, no. One one quick. I know this isn't the show for that, but I don't care. 
You know what movie I like and I think is underrated Marvel wise? The first Captain America. Oh, uh, what? I feel like people don't talk about it as much. I feel like everyone always talks about Iron Man. No, it's Cap- Captain, Captain America. America is way better than fucking Iron Man. Mm. Iron Man was good though. I liked Iron Man. No, but I can't agree I like with the that first one. Captain- Dude, it was so the weird thing about the first Captain Iron America, Man's my favorite character. Though, so Iron Man's my favorite character, but go ahead. That's why I'll say the first guys. Captain America like had nothing to do with anything. And they're like, oh wait, we're gonna turn this into a fucking franchise. <laughs> Let's just make yeah. more movies. And then they somehow kind of tied it in. But yeah, no. I think it was great. Red Skull was an awesome villain. Mm-hmm. And um they played the part really well. Then the Bucky Barnes thing in the second one was different. It was all right. It it just went a weird way. I agree. But yeah. um but yeah, let's 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 go with our rates, bro. Let's uh, let's go with uh one through ten. What do you rate in this trailer? So as a trailer, damn, this is tough because I want to I want to rate with my emotions. Um, as a trailer, I'm gonna give it an eight, just okay. because, like I said earlier, it, I didn't see as much. It's cool that there's Easter eggs. Um, the scenes that we saw were fucking funny as hell. And I think the CGI or anything, anything they used just looked amazing. Everything looked high budget. Um, I would give it a higher rating if I saw more. And I think I would give it a higher rating if I actually got to see Wolverine just because I'm being a hater. Um, I already know just watching that trailer, this movie's going to blow blow things out of the water. It's going to do great. Just the, the comedy and everything. And they haven't disappointed them yet. And I love that they, we saw blood. If I didn't see any blood in there or guns, I would have been yeah no we're, we're been like a five or six we've been yeah we've been fucked if yeah. there's no guns or blood so I yeah agree. i'm gonna go with the hard eight hard eight but it's gonna be probably nine yeah i'm i'm at a nine um the easter eggs was was great um the the action you you know we're gonna get a ton of fucking action um the storyline looks like it's going to be in a in a great um it's gonna the storyline's gonna be great because of how great uh Loki two season two was. Uh the whole Loki TVA thing was great. So you kind of see the way it's gonna go, but we don't know too much of it. So I'm 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 gonna give it a nine. And it's probably the movie's probably gonna be a ten. We're probably gonna love this movie and I can't wait to um I can't wait to watch it. And also, guys, let us know in the comments if you guys want us to do a movie review for the movie um you know we we will definitely go see this one you know th- yeah. this is yep. way different from any other movies as far as marvel that we that has been released um we anticipate this to be a 10 out of 10 so let us know in the comments what you guys uh if you guys want us to do a full movie review all right but yeah um we'll we'll wrap it up there man appreciate you uh appreciate you joining me on this one um course guys make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying yourself um and yeah can you tell the people they can find you on social media please yep you find me the can of camper with an extra r on ig and you can find me the can of camper on youtube and spotify and what's the other one x yeah <laughs> and uh you're in a podcast right oh yeah the bad thoughts podcast that's where i'm at <laughs> yeah guys go follow our podcast bad thoughts podcast on spotify and youtube i'll have those links in the uh, description below uh, as well with the social medias uh if you guys want to find me on social media tones underscore tv on all platforms and um yeah let us know in the comments what you guys thought about the video and don't forget to give the uh video a thumbs up all right hope you guys have a great night love y'all